Worms, this is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Have you ever wondered why animals are the way they are? Well, long ago, whales could eat anything, and they did. In today's story, this whale opens his enormous mouth wider and wider and swallows a man and his raft. I wonder what will happen. Let's experience the magic of reading as I read How the Whale Got His Throat by Rudyard Kipling. Retold by Anna Milborn and illustrated by John Joven. Once upon a time, Whale was ever so greedy. He ate scuttling crabs and slow-moving starfish. He ate great big mackerels and tiny little snackerels. He was so greedy, he swam around eating anything and everything in the sea. One clever little fish hid behind his ear so he wouldn't be eaten too. If you're so hungry, why don't you eat a man? The clever fish suggested. Man is the very tastiest thing of all. Ooh, where could I get a man? Asked Whale. In fact, where could I get lots of them? One will be enough, I'm sure, said the clever fish. He showed Whale a man who was bobbing along on a wooden raft. Whale thrashed his great tail and swam close. He opened his enormous mouth wider and wider. Then, gulp, he swallowed the man, raft and all. The man wasn't happy. Inside Whale's belly, he danced and jumped and banged and bumped and thrashed and thumped. Until Whale groaned, that hurts, come out. Take me to land first, called the man. Thrashing his great tail, Whale swam and swam all the way across the wide blue sea. At last, he came to land. The clever little fish came too. Inside Whale's tummy, the man was busy. He cut up his raft and made a big crisscross shape. He wedged the crisscross shape deep into Whale's throat and left it there when he jumped out. So long, Whale, he called. Oh, my. Now, Whale can only swallow tiny things. He can't be greedy anymore. How the Whale Got His Throat is from the book Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling, which tells stories of how animals came to be the way they are. <laughs>